All right, guys, Gavin Townsend here, the Transformation Guru. Thank you very much for watching this video and try to subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, for more hints and tips and regular video content. Today's video is all about intermittent fasting. So, in recent years, since the uh, 1970s to now, about 50 years, we've had a lot of diets come on the scene. We've had a lot of um, issues with yo-yo dieting and obesity, especially in Western culture. And the simple reasons why is because people are less active, eating more sugar, have an abundance of calories, and don't move as much, basically. We're, we're, we're sitting down with sedentary. If you look at my previous video with the uh, chap who was 74 years of age, born a year before uh, the Second, Second World War had ended, uh, we recognised that the reason why people were so lean and um, slim back in the 40s, 50s and 60s was because of rationing and people only ate what they could get their hands on. But also, people weren't as mobile with the likes of vehicles and were, they were naturally more uh, active. Today, we're just sitting around and just gorging more than ever. So it's a bit of a no-brainer. We're, we're simply inputting more calories and we're outputting less. So in this video, I'm just gonna basically highlight a few reasons why intermittent fasting is becoming more popular. It's becoming more popular because people want as much calories to stay in either a maintenance or a fat loss uh, period, and it's just easier to split it between six hours or eight hours than uh, eating from breakfast till evening. So what I mean by that is most people get up in the morning and have cereal, um, would have a lot of calories in the morning, have a biscuit, coffee. The common um, office work, it will rely on breads and gluten and a whole host of foods mid midday, um, which won't be healthy for the system, packed crisps, chocolate bars, and their energy levels will just peak and trough throughout the whole day. And then come the evening, typically binge out on what's ever available, have the largest calorific meal in the day because they don't feel uh, full. And in the evening, further binge on other foods because again, their energy levels are peaking and troughing and it's been a big yo-yo for a typical day. So, um, intermittent fasting has become more and more popular because you just choose six or eight hours in which you eat. Now, to give you an idea, for the Los Angeles um, fitness competition I did, uh, the physique show, I had one meal a day post-training in the evenings which is a uh, method that I chose because it works really well for my body, but also it worked really well for um, my, my goals. So I was able to have precisely the amount of calories that I wanted and required, exactly the right amount of proteins and fats, and I had it post-exercise. And that worked really well for me, but I wouldn't recommend it to 99% of people out there, um, only because it was a very, hard way to, um, to eat and I still do it now I just have one big meal a day some days I could have two meals but I choose to try and have um, a 20 hour fast each day and eat within a four hour range and it's typically around exercise pre-exercise post-exercise simple as that it gives me a bit more energy before exercise and it gives me uh, an intake of food directly afterwards when I've built the hunger so if you can simply keep your calories into the fat loss level um, at least six days a week and do intermittent fasting, choose six, eight hours in which you eat between, try and keep your um, healthier carbohydrates uh, fair or high, um, keep your fats to quality fats and also keep your proteins relatively high as well and have two or three meals between the six to eight hours in which you choose. In most cases, I'd say 90% of cases, you will be in a calorific deficit just by doing intermittent fasting. And if you're combining exercise in as well, it may be extra cardio, strength training, um, sport activity, you're likely to expend further calories, which again will put you into that uh, further deficit. So it's a simple rule. By doing intermittent fasting, it will help you stay uh, for extra lean. Um, it's just a, a lifestyle change. I hate the word diet. I don't like diets, full stop. If you look at the history of diets, 
Um, they were introduced mainly in the 70s and 80s at the same time as the junk food and fast food culture which originated in America and now if you look at obesity trends worldwide the likes of Mexico is the uh, most overweight nation in the world uh, followed by America, England is coming up within the top 10 and India is just about to explode because they've just introduced the Western uh, fast food culture and basically we're going we're gonna to see more childhood obesity than ever over the next decade we're going to have more unhealthy people over the next decade and it's a shame to see that if people just simply ate more of the right foods and were a bit more sensible and most of the time ideally six out of seven days just generally ate healthier and um, looked after themselves a bit more when it comes to physical activity we wouldn't have such such a crisis but it's an each of their own I'm only here to help and guide I'm not here to um, lecture in the last 10 years I've, I've only ever approached one person to help them but that was out of respect to a friend I helped um, my friend's brother um, get himself back on track and uh, we're now good friends as a result and I'll be proud to say in the last decade um, I've only gone as far as asking to, to support one person everyone else uh, comes to me asking for help and guidance and I find that most people who want results will, um, especially with fitness, diet, with their, with their nutrition, etc., uh, will find it within themselves to sort themselves out, will find it within themselves to, to address their health. So it's down to the individual, and if you look back at my previous video about motivation, uh, you'll see that um, a lot of nutritional changes, especially things like intermittent fasting, have got to be a personal um, journey. It's got to be, you've got to have a reason to, to, to want to look after yourself. And in many cases, I'd say having a more happier um, outlook on life is a definite reason to, uh, to look after oneself. Um, if you want to be happier and healthier and a bit more prosperous in, in your life, uh, I'd recommend watching that video about motivation. Uh, I've, got, I've put 10 tips there on how to be motivated. And if you got more motivated and addressed your nutrition, like in this video we've discussed intermittent fasting, I believe uh, most people will become happier individuals. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Feel free to follow me on Facebook and on Instagram at Gavin Townsend Fitness. I hope you enjoy my video and I hope you watch more. Have a great day.